The William & Mary men's soccer team opened the home portion of its 2017 schedule in thrilling fashion with a golden goal overtime victory over ACC foe NC State on Monday night at Martin Family Stadium at Albert Daly Field. Well, we made it a lot more interesting than, than it uh, probably should have been, but you know, NC State's a good team. It was, it was a, a pretty good game in terms of the, the tactics. I thought both teams um, you know, were set up pretty well to kind of nullify each other, and it took us a while to get going. But um, you know, it's a heck of a win, especially after giving up two goals after being two goals ahead and, and you know, having to go to overtime. It's, it's a tough position to recover from, but uh, you know, we showed some good fortitude there, and, and at the start of the overtime, I thought you know, we were the better team and created some good chances that led to a goal, so happy overall. After NC State erased a two-goal second-half deficit, the Tribe had the last laugh with the game winner just two minutes in to OT. Sophomore Julian Ingo headed home the game winner to ignite the Tribe celebration. I was happy uh, Coach trusted me. Um, he trusted me to come in, give us fresh legs, um, and help us get the game winner. I came in. Took advantage of it. Um, Remy played a great ball again. Uh, perfect. I got in a great position, and it was just a great feeling. It was a little bit of a transition moment where Remy wins a ball and then is able to step forward, um, but the same sort of scenario where we get a really quality cross, and Julian, who we had put on for fresh legs in the nine position, got on the end of it. You know, great spot and a good finish. Junior Ryder Bell put William and Mary on the board in the 30th minute, scoring the lone goal of the first half. Sophomore Reese Trot doubled the Tribe lead in the 64th minute, heading home across from Marcel Berry. We know that every game on our schedule is tough, and uh, you know, coming back after being at Michigan on Friday, it's a quick turnaround with, with the amount of travel that we had. Um, you know, We weren't completely satisfied with our performance against Michigan, and so the, the goal really was to try to have a better performance tonight. I certainly think we were better in terms of moving the ball and creating some chances and being sharper. Uh, but we, we have to continue to solve some things. I think, you know, giving up two goals the way that we did is, is something that we can't continue to do. The Tribe continues its two-match homestand when it meets Patriot League favorite Loyola, Maryland on Friday at 7 p.m.